Welcome to the seventh part of Spring Boot Tips series. In this video, we are going to learn how to handle exceptions using Problem Spring Web Library. So, this Problem Spring Web Library is provided by a company called Zalando and it helps greatly in handling exceptions with very minimal code. This episode is a continuation of Part 6 Exception Handling in Spring Boot Application. In Part 6, we have learned how to use uh, Spring Boot's out of the box features to handle exceptions in Timeleaf based application and in REST APIs as well. So, if you haven't watched this video, I would highly recommend to watch it first because part 7 is a continuation of that uh, video. Uh, let me give you a quick overview of what uh, REST API we have here. So, we have a JPI entity customer. With a couple of fields and they are non empty, and there is a email uh, validation annotation used. And we have a Spring Data JPI repository, and then we have customer service, which has few methods get all customers, create a new customer, and then get customer by ID. If the uh, customer is not there with the given ID, we are going to throw customer not found exception. And then we have this customer controller again having a, a couple of uh, endpoints. We have get all customers, get customer by ID, and uh, create a new customer. And we are also uh, trying to perform the validations using Java Bean Validation API. Okay, this is the uh, API we have, and let us see how we can uh, use Zalando's Problem Spring Web Library to perform exception handling. So let us. Uh, first, add the uh, dependencies for problem spring web. So, here is the uh, repository, and uh, 0 0.27.0 is the latest release. And if you look at this README uh, here, it provides two options one is for uh, traditional spring web MVC, another one is for uh, spring webflux reactive. Uh, so, here we are using currently uh, spring web MVC. So, if you uh, look at the options, right, uh, there is a Spring Boot Web Starter, which automatically configures all the required configuration, or uh, for any reason, if you want to include a Problem Spring Web only, uh, you can include this, and then you need to configure uh, certain beans like this. Okay, so let us go with our uh, Spring Boot Web Starter for Problem Spring Web. Okay, I am going to paste it here, and the version is. Current uh, recent release is 0.27.0. I'm including that. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to remove all the existing exception handling logic. So from here, uh, from order controller, I'm removing this and I'm deleting this entire uh, global exception handler. Okay. And uh, within our customer controller, we don't have any exception handler. So uh, right now, we don't have any of our custom exception handling logic. All we have done is adding this problem spring web starter. That's all. Okay. Now let us restart the application. Okay. If I go to um, uh, try to invoke this api slash customer slash uh, some non-existing customer id so i am getting a status code 404 and then i uh, got this title not found status 404 and detail uh, customer with id equals to uh, 11 not found so uh, these are the decent enough details that i am already getting out of the box without writing any code at all let us say uh, if we use some wrong HTTP method, uh, what happens? So again, it is uh, giving uh, appropriate uh, HTTP status code 405 and also giving the detail request method put not supported. So without doing anything, I'm able to uh, get the decent responses. And let us see how, uh, what happens if I uh, invoke this create customer API endpoint and I'm not giving a mandatory field name. So here, when I make this call, it is giving this uh, status bad request 400, and also it is including violations. What went wrong specifically? 
like name equals to name cannot be empty so what is the field this error uh, associated with and also if i say include uh, this one uh, but uh, it is not a proper email uh, format so it is going to return email is invalid and even if there are multiple errors it is going to return all of them so right now email is invalid and name cannot be empty so uh, problem spring web library is uh, handling all these issues and then returning the appropriate http status code and also with a meaningful response body as well and that too without we need to write any uh, logic at all okay so uh, <clears throat> how it works we haven't done anything at all apart from simply adding that library so how it is working actually right let us uh, take a uh, look at how this thing working internally when we add this problem spring web starter library it auto registers uh, there is an auto configuration called problem auto configuration here it is checking whether if there is no uh, bin of type advice right is registered it is going to automatically register this advice right bin which is nothing but instantiating this exception handling this class so let us take a look at what is exception handling so uh, here uh, if you notice here uh, there is at controller advice annotation and also it is implementing this uh, another interface problem handling so if we go uh, to problem handling again this is an interface which is uh, extending a bunch of other uh, uh, interfaces so let us uh, take a look at this uh, validation advice right okay uh, again it is uh, extending few other things uh, let us go to this constraint violation advice right so here we can see there are these default methods because this is an interface uh, and they have added these uh, methods exception handler methods as default methods okay so it is an exception handler which is handling of type constraint violation so they are handling it and then they are extracting all the violations and then preparing a list of violation objects and then uh, returning an object called problem so what this problem is so this problem is an interface and there are uh, possible uh, multiple types of uh, subclasses possibly uh, in our case maybe constraint violation problem is something and here it has the status violations and type so these are the uh, fields that we are seeing here right so basically uh, if you go back uh, this problem handling is nothing but extending a bunch of other interfaces and uh, this interface if you go uh, each of these interfaces having uh, one or more exception handlers for different different types of uh, exceptions and let us take a look at uh, another type of uh, exception so let us go into this http advice right and then we can see method not allowed advice right here and again another exception handler handling http uh, request method not supported exception and here uh, again it is handling that specific exception and then returning this uh, problem entity uh, again this problem could be a different implementation okay so uh, this is how they have implemented all uh, different types of exceptions and using exception handlers using interface default methods and then composing them so if we go back to our customer controller and take a look at this get customer by id we are again checking for the existence of customer by id and if it is not found we are throwing this customer not found exception however when we throw customer not found exception because of this response status annotation we have here uh, problem spring web is able to figure out uh, it it is uh, it's supposed to return uh, status code as 404 and then uh, it is including this respective uh, error message as well and let us uh, check that once okay okay um, here see it is returning 404 and then uh, respective message uh, what if we don't have this uh, annotation here
okay so let us trigger this and this time it is returning uh, with status code 500 and uh, it is including a proper uh, error message only as detail but the status code is not uh, right so in the same way let us say this is our own class and we are able to put this annotation here to tweak uh, what is the http status we want to return but what if we want to handle some exceptions from the third party libraries where we don't have we cannot add this annotation to uh, customize the status code right so how do we want to handle it in a different way we can create a global exception handler global exception handler and we can annotate with rest controller advice the way we did uh, before but this time we can implement problem handling so that we can uh, inherit a lot of uh, convenience methods from the uh, problem handling hierarchy and let us define our own uh, handler method exception handler and we are going to return response entity of type of problem here uh, ideally we can return any object we want but to be inconsistent with the other uh, problem uh, handling logic we are going to we are going to return problem object only and handle customer not found exception in addition to the exception let us take native web request also as a argument and then mark with exception handler okay so this is nothing different from uh, what we have used earlier we have annotated with rest controller advice and then uh, we annotated with ex at exception handler and you can even uh, specify if you want to but this is optional by default it's going to figure out this handler is for customer not found exception only and how do we construct uh, this problem and then return it so the, uh, there are uh, uh, multiple ways of doing it one thing is we can use this problem builder and then you can specify what is the status uh, this is going to be status dot not found and what is the title uh, we can say customer not found is the title and uh, with detail uh, probably we can include uh, exception message and we can call let's say build so this is going to build sorry this is going to build a throwable problem instance now we can return create of a throwable problem and request so this way we can construct our own problem instance and then use this create method which is coming from the uh, problem handling and we can construct this response entity here so uh, let us restart and go to this api and call it so here we can see our customized title customer not form and the information here okay so this is how you can uh, still leverage problem spring web uh, for handling all the built-in error messages and also you can customize your own uh, exception handling if need be in this video we have learned how to use problem spring web library to handle exceptions in rest apis all we have to do is simply adding this dependency which takes care of auto configuring the required beans and it handles most of the common use cases automatically without we having to write any code at all and also if you go to a problem spring web repository you can see it is not only uh, able to handle spring web mvc it can also work with uh, spring web flex as well if you go to uh, spring web mvc documentation here we can see there is a, a dependency that we need to add and also here we can see all the list of exceptions that problem spring web library uh, handles and also it handles spring security exceptions as well so when we add that starter 
if we are using spring security in our application it auto configures all these security related exceptions also uh, and it handles all those exception types and then uh, return appropriate responses with uh, http status codes as well i hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.